Hey there guys, it's me, Ashtans, and this is my guide for how to mage barrows um, without like taking any damage and using mil minimal amounts of prayer. So first things first, the requirements you need to be on eight. Uh, you need to be on ancient magics, sorry, and I would advise at least seventy magic to use the burst spells. Um, though if you've only got sixty, then you can use the rushes, but I don't think. Uh, these spells work as effectively as the bursts. Um, bullets and barrage if you are high level of magic. The miasmic ones, you can use them, but I'm not entirely 100% certain what they do. And I don't even know what that staff is there, so yeah. Um, so, equipment, let's go into that one. Uh, so, this is what I'm wearing. You still sat down? I thought you stood up. I'm wearing full arms with ancient staff, uh, spellstorm drape, and glory. Now I've got cul cul inneromancer's gloves one. I hope I pronounced it right. And a ring of well. And there I have bolt racks, but they're just loot from barrow chest. Um, for aura I've got corruption, but you can use pretty much any aura. Doesn't really matter, just as long as it's combat based and not like five finger discount is it so basically where your max mage gear for me that's full arms the shield I have an ancient book because if you look at his stats it gives a plus six magic plus five to prayer as well which I only just noticed um, ring of wealth I seriously advise because it means that you're more likely to get barrows items at the chest um, spell storm drape I've got that because it's my best like magic wait yeah it's my best magic like um, cape. That I've got because I couldn't be bothered to go to the chest and get the column and answer the gloves too. Um, uh, but you know, I suppose I should probably do a bit more of uh, that quest. Um, the glory, if you've got fury, use that. Or if you've got the two seconds. Or if you have the arcane stream necklace, uh, use that. Arcane Stream is the one that you get from Dungeoneering. I didn't know that at first. Um, so let's go over my inventory. I've got eight prayer flasks. One of them's kind of partially used. Two sharks, four rocktails. Them things I got as loot from the chest. And then I've got my runes. Uh, if you look, well, the m all these runes in here, I would advise bringing, apart from the mine runes, the mine runes, again, loot from the chest. So, take a single sip of prayer dose. You know. I, using this tactic, only have to take two doses of prayer, but that's because I know how to do this tactic. Now, um, you hit him, I advise having uh, auto cast on the blood spells, so that you can do this. Wait, let me just cast one more. Freeze him, like so, step one diagonal from him, so you're a diagonal to him and therefore he can't attack you, and you use blood spells on him. Because they drain his HP and give it to you. And freeze him again. And that killed him. Which, that was slightly surprising. I didn't expect that to kill him. Um, so, the same again for Carol. Now, Carol, you can use melee on. As you can see, I have a whip. Um, that's just because, you know, um, I use it. Well, sometimes use Carol, and I usually use it for Aram because Aram takes forever. I'm not joking, literally forever. And as you'll see, I just maxed on him, so it's not can't be that bad. Um, so I've gone over like equipment and stuff. There's nothing else real I can go over. Um, this guide is not for beginners to barrows. You must have some kind of experience at barrows. Like I've easily done 200, 300 chests, and I've only ever had like five loops. So you know. Right there we go. That same day. Ooh, 69. Eh, kinky. Right. Um. Head down here. Equip the whip. Get. Don't do that. Here you are. Now, Aram, I don't know, you might want to pray, you might not. Really depends on what you think. 
I mean, he doesn't really tend to hit that hard. But, personally, I don't, I don't really pray, because most of the time he does these weakening spells. And in the very, it's pretty rare that he'll hit like that. And then you can usually just heal it back up by doing blood spells onto him, or by bl doing blood spells onto the next brother. Like so. So, these other two, Smoke Rush, um, I'm, I'm not entirely 100% certain on the effects of these. I'm gonna have to wait though. If I was in PvP, that would have been a safe. I'm not in PvP, so I'm safe. Heh. <laughs> Coincidence? Alright, come on. Come on, kill him. Screw it. I'm gonna go back to meleeing him. Couldn't remember the word then. What am I mean? Ooh. Not too good. Uh, nail him. Ooh. I just got spammed by some guy getting 299s to get his max cape. Lucky guy. There we go. So. <coughs> if you'll, you'll give me a second, I'm now going to pause and. Remember what these are used for, smoke and shadow. Okay, so this one poisons them for 20 HP, if it hits. This one lowers their attack. I don't know how much by, but it lowers their attack. Um, yeah, you already know what these two do. Oh, need to put that back on autocast. Now you might want to prey on this guy, because he really does hit hard. A lot harder than everybody else, which is quite annoying at times. So here we go. Just gonna make some HP back up. Now, because all the other brothers have not been like me, Lee, apart from Darak, but Darak you have to prey on. I'm gonna now have to show you this tactic properly. Oh, right, he's dead. Doesn't really matter. Right, I'll show you on uh, Toragon. So you go in. You make sure you you got your blood spell on. Like, what's it called? Autocast. And you search it. Oh. Poo, that's my tunnel. Um, so I'm going to show you on Gothen instead. Um, why are you going up there? Um, so as you'll see, I'm on no prayer point, so I'm not going to pray. So you go in. You search. And you get cast the normal cast, not autocast. Freeze them. Step one, step diagonal. For some reason, Jagex made it so when you're diagonal, you can't attack, and then you cast your blood spells again. And if you're on lower HP, like I am, it will it will heal you up for a quarter of what you hit. So, show you again. Freeze. Step one, diagonal. Attack. Now watch for the click radius on these brothers because they seem to be pretty high. It's only really when you're doing this tactic that you'll notice how big the click radius is. And depending on your mage level, you can like rape them out pretty quickly. So I'm gonna t uh, I'm gonna t show you how to do the tunnels as well now. So go in. Yeah, I'm fearless. Not really. Go through the door. So what you do is you find the nearest door to the centre, which says examine, then you f click around them until you find the one that doesn't say examine, that says open. That one is, for me, is one on the opposite side, so I know that's where I have to go. Let me just kill this. And I'm just going to briefly explain. The creature's slain. I think that, well I don't think I know, um, however many creatures you have killed, that, like, boosts the amount of, um, well there's my brother, that boosts the amount of runes and stuff that you get at the chest, so if you plan on staying for a while you might want to get a pretty high like kill count. So, here we go, freeze, step one diagonal, he's hitting pretty hard, I'm just going to have to briefly eat, attack, make sure you right do attack him again, because otherwise um, you guy will just stand there and look at him like, Ooh, look, a big fat scary guy. Uh, there you go, and he's frozen. Now, using this one, it freezes him for 10 seconds, I believe. Um, it's also 
when um, everywhere goes multi combat after the combat beta has been released, two things. One, I think this tactic might like become extinct, but I'll have to check that out on the beta. Just after the beta has been released, after the like combat rework goes live on this on the live game. Um, so we know where we're heading to. It's this door. <laughs> For a second, I thought it was an examined door. It's like, oh, embarrassing. Uh, so run to the door, and then oh, um, kill the monster that's attacking you. Unfortunately for me, I've got the highest level one, but fortunately for me, it's easy to kill anyway. Um, that was a splash. If you want to know when you're gonna splash with your mage attacks, watch your XP rises, and it's when it flashes. When it says 39, that's your XP rise. That's the um thing splash so I'm now going to show you the puzzles um, from a different clip because I started filming this and then I messed it up and I managed to get the puzzles so just going to show you that now there's a puzzle here um, I'll show you all the puzzles I'll get f like screen sh not screenshots like I'll film them all they'll be at the end hopefully um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can talk about. Um, so, puzzles. So, for this one, there's a, one of them things, seven-sided sh seven shape. Try saying that with a mouthful of popcorn. Um, six-sided shape, five-sided shape, I don't know the names of any of these. I'm, like, you know, amazing at maths, but I don't know shapes. You click on the square one. I don't know the name of squares, don't worry. I'm not that thick. Um, it's the one with four sides, in case you don't know. I'm joking. You're, you will. Hopefully, you all know what square looks like. So, if you want to get your kill count up, just usually there's like a million in these little tunnels to the side, because everybody just comes in and runs through. But I think for once there's nothing. I think this world might be empty of people doing barrows. What world am I? 23. Hmm. Meh. Uh, right. Run up. If your brother didn't just pop up randomly, then he will attack you here. So you just search it and anything on the floor? No. Oh. Not any loot in ages. So sad about it. Right. Head through. Go through. Do -do 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 -do. Go through here. Go through the door. Now for this, you basically have to remember which direction you came from and head up. Head up. I mean, it's pretty easy. I mean, I've done it so many times I remember off by heart. One tactic I can advise if you don't know which it is or you got the puzzle wrong and the room's rearranged, just head to these little side passages until eventually you find one that says examine and then find another way into that room. That does say examine, so that tells me this is the way into it. Because the rope room is on the one exit. So, yeah. So, um, I'm just going to show you just how much, well no, that's no, I won't bother. You've seen how much prayer it needs to use. So, now I'm going to stop and I'm going to get recordings of all of the, I think there's four different puzzles. So yeah, uh, I will be back in a second, hopefully with all four puzzles. So, this is one of the other puzzles. It goes, number one is line at the bottom, number two, line like a third of the way up, number three, line two thirds of the way up, so number four is going to be line three thirds of the way up, which is line at the top, as you will have seen me click there. Okay, here's the next one. Um, it's the one with circles and triangles. Um, there's one like below, one pointing inwards, one pointing upwards, so the next one is going to be pointing inwards, so it's this one. Now I'm not going to choose it because I'm actually like logging in and logging out until I get all four. This is a little cheat that I found. Well, not cheat, but shortcut. Okay, I've spent about five minutes logging in and out, and I've finally got the correct puzzle. So that puzzle's nothing. Then there's one in the right. Then there's one in the right and one below it. So it's going to be one in the right, one below it, and one more. And there's only one possible po po uh, possibility, and that's this one, which is the three with like the little 
right angle in the bottom right. Click that. If this is wrong, I'm going to commit suicide. Yeah, you, there you go. It's right. And that's not... Oh, well. Um, so, <coughs> uh, if you have any like questions about using this tactic or about barrows or about anything in general, um, just a comment below. If this video has helped or if you just want to be nice, uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see future videos like this, if you aren't already. So, um, you know, because I'm so nice, I'll just show you the loot. When he's uh, finally finished killing this guy. That's why he's my magic drain or something. There we go. That's the semi big hit I was looking for. Wait. Yeah, gotta kill the brother. I was about to shoot myself then. Search. And. Oh! Aram robe top. See? You guys are my lucky charm.